Nice chord. Isn't that just a nice chord? It's a very nice chord. Very nice chord. There Hello, be, guys. There will be people out there who know what that chord is, Peter. Yeah. I'm sure you do. Whatever. It's a chord with some fingers and some places. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of chord. Anyway. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to Guitar Acoustic Paradiso. I keep saying Guitar Paradiso. Well, I keep forgetting because there's guitars everywhere. So it is kind of a, a, acoustic guitar paradiso, isn't it? Indeed. That's what it is. My Indeed. name is Pete. My name is Mick. Hello. How are you all doing? I hope you're fine. I'm, I, these new Sigma guitars, this is the first time we look at Sigma guitars here on uh, Acoustic Paradiso. And um, these are great. Yeah, so um, for anyone who doesn't know about Sigma guitars, Sigma guitars yes. was a brand that was kind of, it started off life as an officially licensed version of Martin. So yeah. as Squire is Defender, Sigma was to Martin. Back in the 70s, was it? Yeah, loose, Sometime loosely like. speaking. Yeah. So not American made, uh, much more affordable, slightly different construction techniques, all the rest of it. However, very much borrowing from traditional Martin um, styles. And over the years, things changed. The business relationship between Martin and Sigma changed. Yeah. It's now a completely separate, separate thing. I think the company the company's Germany, right. in Germany, based in Germany, I think. Yep. Um, and they, they make them in the Far East. Yeah. So it's As got, has it's, always been the case. It, but, exactly. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Uh, they've got no relations to Martin whatsoever, apart from the uh, strings. <laughs> That's on here. <laughs> yeah, and I think the, the license of a few. Yeah, license um, of, of the of the shape. A few bits of bolts. Yeah. But these, Whereas though, these, not Martin at all. Not at all. It's a completely different thing. So these are the Golden Era uh, SG. Yeah. Series doesn't look like an SG to me, mate. No, mate. Um, but. These are great. Solid, solid tops on these. Yeah, solid Sitka spruce tops. Yeah. Very nice they are too. Yeah. Mahogany next. Yeah. Um, now, here's a little tip when buying a mid price guitar. If it doesn't say solid mahogany, it's probably not. Yeah. So these are these are priced about, at the moment, uh, $4.25. But of course, we saying prices at the moment yeah. is can go up, can go down. So please look at the links below for the uh, for your perusal. Yes. That's a great word I and learned <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> it's a great no, it's, word. It is a good word. Yeah. I'm learning, trying to learn a new word every day. It doesn't work because uh, I forget it immediately after. Yeah, I, d I don't know one word of Danish, so you're... you're I'm you're, doing well. You're doing well. Mate. Perusal is great, though. Anyway, so... Um, yeah, and when you look at them, they certainly don't look like sub £500 guitars, do they? It, not at all. A million miles away. Just some little things to pick up on, like really nice, tidy, uh, binding ivoroid tuners or... the. It looks like Ivoroid, whether it actually is or not, I don't know. But just really nice open detailing, geared. kind of open geared, vintage style machine head. Yeah. Satin neck here, feels, feels really nice. Yeah, look at that lovely finish on the body there. Where exactly. You can, you can, kind you can of see, see the, grain the grain through it. It's lovely and thin. Yeah. Really, really tidy. Feels like an extremely grown up guitar yeah. for not very grown up money. It's it's. Uh, this is the thing we, we, we talked about in previous videos, that when you start out t today, as a as a as a person starting out buying guitars, I mean, if you've got five hundred quid to spend and you want something that looks really cool, plays nice, and sounds you know great, I mean, yeah, what's not to like about these? They're absolutely and nothing. I have a guitar that looks very much like this, as you know, Pete. Yeah, uh, with a different name on the headstock that costs ten times as much, <laughs> at least ten times yeah. as much. <laughs> I, I know it's incredible, isn't is it? Is it better? Yes. Is it ten yeah. times better? Woo! There's well, a question. Who knows? But this is again that whole curve of you know where you think once you spend like five hundred quid, then you spend a thousand quid, then you go up to like two or three thousand. Yeah. That's when you know wherever that, is, that uh, wherever that plateau is on the bang for buck graph. Yeah. These guitars sell, surely they, sit yeah. in in a very sweet place on that yeah. graph. Uh, I mean, absolutely, and you get a Fisman Sonitone system with your with your volume and tone control inside. Yeah, and you know, yeah. I mean, it's great. We have got another guitar here. Quickly, just gonna just gonna take that up. It's um, a parlor guitar. It's not the uh, it's not an ST series. It's in the one series. We yeah, think. it's in the one series. But we just wanted to take it out and sort of show. And that's a couple of hundred quid less expensive. Yeah. How does that even? That's about happen? two at the moment. Two about two hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, two six five. Oh, two six five. Yeah, but and it, it, again, it can change. Yes. Please look with at the links below. We cannot promise any prices on with it. With our vastly uh, fluctuating currency, that may change. Yeah, clearly. yeah, exactly. Um, the women are taking over the world. Look at that torch, oh. torch inlay. Not full time, mate. What? The women taking <laughs> over the world. 
<laughs> and finally, yeah, I know. You get something done properly. But l- lest lest we make any <laughs> political comment <laughs> whatsoever, because you know, yeah, we no, agree with everything except all the bad stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. That's this is not a talk show about politics. That's so the guitar that. paradiso political stance. We political with. paradiso. <laughs> 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 Yeah. We better stay way clear of that. Yeah, I think. I think so and, too. And keep to something that we know. I think the politician's favourite chord is diminished. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of. And d- loads of tension. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's the sound. That's <laughs> politics imagined through sound. Yeah. <laughs> and next week we'll do mime. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's it's not, let's let's hear the guitar. So what? Are, so they are fourteen fret. Yeah. Like John, one is a one is a. Um, you got the jumbo, haven't you? Yeah. So this is based obviously on a Gibson slope shoulder dreadnought. Um, it's got the straight bridge there, which is more thirty-five than forty-five style. If we're going to be picky about it, um, so the the kind of very vintagey one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is the JM SG forty five. Yeah, so forty five so there. So you know you get yeah, the, yeah. you get the the, the names. So very you can associated with Gibson with slope shoulder dr- jumbo as, as yeah. the uh, similarly Gibson double O type fourteen uh, LM again. Yeah, uh, LM SG double O. Yeah, which the, but the Gibson double O size. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which is the kind of is the blues guitar. You'll find uh, um, Keb Mo people like that playing that kind of guitar. Yeah. Roughly, um, I mean, they look great. They changed yeah. the headstock a little bit on these, haven't they? Because normally they're mar- the, um, they've got the, this kind of headstock, and these ones get a little bit of a. Well, well, we might be into a bit of a. Oh, okay. Please don't no. use that headstock shape territory there. Oh, is that what it is? Maybe. Oh well, let's, that's nothing might to be. do with us anyway. That's again politics, and in that we are Swiss. <laughs> we are Swiss. We go. Eh, hey, hey. And move on. Now, you know what? I don't mind. Oh, whatever you want to do. That's the. That's one of those. Come on, let's hear it then. Uh, uh, yeah. um, bone nuts and saddles, which is a really nice feature on a on a mid price guitar. Yeah. Uh, you certainly wouldn't Rose expect for, that for that kind of money. Yeah. Rose for fingerboard. Yeah, nice um, Rose for fingerboard. It's, all, it's it, all the right stuff. All the right specs that you you go. I want this. I want that. I would. Oh, I would like. Yeah. I would like this. I would like that. I would like this. That. It's all here. Mm. Solid boost top and all that stuff. Anyway, play for me, please. Okay. <laughs> Let's just give you this immediately so we can we can do that and then we'll do the other way around. Immediately from where I'm sitting, I'm hearing more sound coming out of this one. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Don't forget your please and thank yous. <laughs> what do you feel? Definitely more bottom end coming out of this one. Mm-hmm. Um, that one's a bit twangier. Actually, the action's... So, interesting point about action. Um, when you go to buy a, an acoustic guitar, if you're... The more... Uh, the earlier on you are in your playing journey, perhaps, the easier it's going to be to have a lower action. That guitar's set up really nice mm-hmm. for kind of a light playing style, and yeah. you're coming to a guitar, you can play finger style on it really nice. Actually, when you dig in, the action's low enough to give you a bit of string rattle. Yeah, I prefer it a little bit higher so I can really whack the strings. Um, this one is a little bit higher, but this it's a small matter of setup. But it does have a result and effect on the tone, which is 
it just sounds a bit twangier and yeah. it just gives you that blues kind of that blues kind of feel yeah yeah that's you know uh, surprise surprise this is the bigger body therefore it's got a little bit more bottom end that's the smaller body so it's kind of a little bit twangier yeah well that's what um, have a, have a, have a okay so I'll, I'll just do a uh, strumming here Every time. He's got he's copying those licks. I need to play that properly. I agree that, that that one's got low action, but this one kind of get. You know, there's more sound, you know. I feel like I can go. I can. I, I can do that sort of, this chucking kind of. You know what I mean? That yeah. Kind of, and it sounds great, and it doesn't. It doesn't rattle too much, and I kind of like that in the guitar that you can get that. This sounds really good, man. It definitely has that. I, I mean, mean, if you've wow. ever played. Um, Gibson and Martin Dreadnought side by side, so a slope sh classic. What you might think of as a slope shouldered, it's actually a jumbo, but anyway. Yeah. Um, the classic J style, uh, J45 style Gibson and a Martin Dreadnought side by side. Even though, you know, sensibly it's a very similarly sized guitar and all the rest of it, they do sound very different. Yeah. And that is doing a good job, in my opinion. Yeah. Of having that kind of J45 quality it doesn't have the out and out very extended kind of deep bass and yep. I think that may be something to do with the laminate back and sides however there's no doubt being box fresh that guitar is gonna grow into it we have just taken these uh, guitars out of the box yeah literally just now before I, it's I'm gonna say this I'm gonna say this mid price guitar yep. all the mid price guitars we've played recently yeah I, I know that is excellent isn't it that is right there for me that guitar yeah. I mean, it might be because I play that style of guitar. Yeah. So I, I'm instantly, I instantly feel comfortable and at home with it. Yeah. But for the money, that is nuts. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's absolute. It's it's wonderful for the money. <laughs> not again. Not again. <laughs> not again. Not again. Yeah. I mean, that if you cannot go wrong with it, I can see. I can see what I'm sitting with now feels a bit big on me, as as you know. Yeah. You know, but but that would be the only. That would be the only thing yep. that would be be the, the the issue I have with it. Everything else is absolutely brilliant. You did strum both of them, didn't you? Uh, yes, let me play the other thing there. I'm, I think you did. Yeah, let me do this did. chucking bit again. There's just no comparison. That guitar is absolutely amazing. This is great. More, more... Whatever I was to play, whatever. But it's kind of, uh, yeah. yeah. It's not. As, <laughs> it, it's not as instantly satisfying because it doesn't have that great big extended bottom. It doesn't end. have that bottom end. Does and, it? and the power. And I dare say, were you to lift the action up a little bit, you'd probably be digging in a little harder. Yeah, probably. However, however, I think that that. Um, it's not bad at all. That kind of mid rangey sound is definitely a sound for that kind of more country bluesy type, exactly. which you are more um, the man for. That, you know, especially if you're not banging the guitar with a pick the whole time. Actually, one thing uh, you can probably hear that I'm, I'm trying to play the guitar harder than I normally play it to get some volume out. Yeah. Because I think the natural volume of 
yeah. my guitar, which is all solid woods and all the rest of it, you don't have yeah. to hit the thing so hard. Exactly. But I think that again, there's an. But that's one of the that. things you pay extra money for. You know, you pay yeah. extra money for for good pieces of wood and all of this different stuff. And you know, it. We're not going to bring up the whole wood thing <laughs> because that if you want to start that, then it just never stops. But. You know. But I, I think I still think there's merit in that because it does when you get that kind of you know. Yeah. This, it, it, I've been listening to a lot of Keb Mo recently, and it, it just really puts me in that frame of mind. Yeah. But it's that kind of mid-range sort of punchy tone yeah. that, that, that those guitars are, you know. And it's funny because I, I say quite a lot often, I say, I say when you buy, if you buy cheap, you buy twice. And I'm going to have to kind of... Check these shirts out. I have to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thanks Tim, by the way, for this. Yeah, Tim, Tim in Australia. Sent them all the way from Australia, so kind. Tim Holt went, yeah. went to Fiji, bought these shirts. Sent them to us. I thank mean, you, Tim. That, and, and here we are, we're wearing them, so thank you. Um, but on this occasion, you buy cheap, you buy twice, you buy this, which is affordable, you know, affo money cheap and affordable is, you know, it, that, it's a yeah. relative term, isn't it? So, but buy this once, that's it. You wouldn't buy anything again, that's, that's for sure. You'll keep this, this is a keeper. Can well, you play the same on this, please, for me? Okay. Because two guitars. Um, Apart from being, uh, it doesn't have a sunny tone system, it doesn't have any pickups in it, that's a 14 fret, that's a 12 fret. Yeah, so this is a very different deal, this is more like a parlor. Yeah, tell me about it. It doesn't have um, some of the more vintage accoutrement, accoutrement. Uh, that this one has, so it's not, you know, it's not ultimately uh, as beautiful or whatever, and it's certainly a good deal less expensive. You can, you can see that this has all been sort of yellowed, uh, what do you call it, dark, you know, ma aged uh, yeah. in a way where that's not. So, yeah. uh, anyway. So let's see. See now, I think so. It's often said about twelve fret guitars that when you put the what, the action of moving the neck back puts the bridge back, kind of right in the centre of the widest bit of the yeah of the lower bout. You can see it on this guitar. It's not not there. On here it is. So the argument goes that actually the bridge position on a twelve fret guitar gives the whole thing more, a more kind of sonorous um, presentation. Yeah. Whatever. It's up for debate. They do sound different. Is the point. Yeah. And I think. The f this, the 12 fret nature of this guitar is giving it a fullness and a kind of more balance that is different in that one. Yeah. So. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Sorry, I'm talking over it. I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm talking over. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's right. Uh, um, that's great as well. Yeah. So this, um, despite being a good deal less expensive, has a solid spruce top. This is, by the way, the Double O R One STS. Double O R One STS. <laughs> Anything can happen. It just seems to have a rhythm. Anyway, double o, double o R, uh, double O being body shape, R standing for laminate rosewood. Rosewood, not mahogany. Yeah. That was the point I was trying to gallop towards. <laughs> uh, one is one series. Yeah. ST, I'm going to say, hmm, who knows, uh, maybe something to do with sunburst. Probably. Yeah. And look at, but look at the, look at the headstock here, as you said before, on the front. A little this, torch inlay. This lovely. Yeah, very nice. I mean, so Sigma guitars are really, really, really great value for money. Uh, no argument from me. No. And I think there are other, uh, so there are other brands in the mid-price um, arena which perhaps have a more modern take on things. Yeah. I'm thinking of Faith. 
Yeah. Um, but I think for vin- more vintage style guitars, yeah, Sigma's got yeah. it nailed. You know, it? if you inspire to 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 get like uh, what you have, or you know, a forty-five or a, yeah, traditional, uh, Martin, uh, or a Gibson. traditional Martin or Gibson that are you know for a lot of people out of their price range. But if you're kind of looking for that look of it and that sort of you know, then <laughs> these are just amazing value. Mm-hmm. I can't. I quite. I can't really like this. I mean, at the moment, that's 265. Wait, again, peruse the links below. Let's just do a little, uh, um, a little strummy there, Pete, on these two guitars. Okay. A Dunlop one mil nylon pick. Okay. Pete and I were in a park on uh, Saturday playing. We did a gig together. Very song. You missed it. Yeah, yeah. You missed it. Anyway, it so uh, I, I have to say, I, I quite like this. Yeah. Yeah, for that kind of money, this is your kicking around the house sofa guitar when you're watching EastEnders. <laughs> Do you watch EastEnders? <laughs> <laughs> but actually, should I say... Uh, when your significant other is watching EastEnders and you're looking for something more interesting yeah. to do, like practice your... Uh... Yeah, and then you're probably going to be told to get off the sofa and go into another room. Anyway. That's true. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, that was the Sigma guitar, so the Golden Era, um, the, the JMSG45, and the uh, LMSG00. Yeah. And these are in the same series, that's SG series. And um, you've got the double R one STS, beautiful sunburst guitars, and um, I like them. I mean, what's not to like for the no, pricing? No arguments for me. Links below. Uh, this was Acoustic Paradiso, and uh, Sigma guitars. And my name is Pete. My name is Mick. And uh, thank you again, Tim, for the lovely shirts. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Cheerio.